So tell me about how, who discovered you. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I went to luncheon one day, and in Hollywood there was a restaurant called Sardi's. And it was, you go to, you see, to be seen. It's one of those luncheon things. <clears throat> so I'd gone with a girlfriend of mine to have lunch. And we were dancing around with this conversation and having our tea and all of this. And a man came up and he said, what's your name? And I didn't want to give it to him. I said, who are you? And it was Bill Demarest. Now, your audience will know who Bill Demarest is because I've done many pictures with him lately. But he was a wonderful character actor. And at that time, he was working as an agent because things were a little bit slow. So he said, I said, well, my name is Jane Wyman. And uh, he said, would you like to be in pictures? And I said, well, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm in pictures. I mean, I'm a dancer. And he said, no, I mean the other kind of pictures, motion pictures, you know, where you're. I said, well, I suppose it would be nice. And so he said, well, I'll pick you up and take you out to Warner Brothers. Well, it frightened me to death because I'd never been to Warner Brothers. I worked at Fox and Paramount, but I'd never been to Warner Brothers. I didn't know what they were asking me to do. Well, I go out and I meet Max Arno, who was a charming, charming man. And he said, you know, he said, I think I'd like to make a test of you. Now, I didn't know what a test was, you know, so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I say, oh, that's nice. <laughs> you know? And he made a test of me. Well, it came out, and he said, you know, I'm going to give you a six-month contract with options. Well, I almost fainted. Uh, you know, I, 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 what do I do now? Well, I went home, danced a jig, of course, thrilled to death. I am going to Warner Brothers. So I went to Warner Brothers in 1936, and I was there for 30 years. <laughs> Can you believe it, Adam? What is your name, you know? So a lot of things have happened and since 1936. And, and at that time... Um, I must add that we became very close friends because we did about five pictures together later on. Right. Bill Demarest, you know. Right. And he always took credit for me. <laughs> well, so, so your experience uh, um, in, in going to Warner Brothers and getting in the movies is not the kind of... Uh, sensational cliche experience that we all read about Crawford and um, no it, it was it was first of all it was an accident I mean I call it an accident and uh, it just kind of it, I guess it was supposed to be because it kind of just fell into place you know and I didn't seek it but I got it so you put a little luck underneath that and then you've got the picture and and would you say over the years that you were treated well oh yes Yes, we, at Warner Brothers, we were all treated very well. I mean, it was, uh, it was a wonderful place to work. We were like a family out there. You know, you had Annie Sheridan, and you had uh, me, and you had uh, Alexis Smith, and they were all young people starting out. And, and they, we all kind of clung together because we didn't know, we weren't Betty Davis, and we weren't uh, the, the big, big, big stars. What's happening? There's a pool man in the window. Hey, um, what? was the hardest scene you ever had to do with a male actor? Oh, with a male actor. Um, I think it was in The Lost Weekend because Ray was so wonderful. He was into that character so devotedly, you know. And we've got Billy Wilder. And I wasn't up on all of the dramatic part. This is the first really dramatic thing I had done. And I felt a little strange because I wasn't into it. I didn't, I got the character all right, but I had to grow into it. And it was a little frightening because Ray is a, a, an old time movie actor, you know, and we were good friends, but, but we'd never worked together before. And um, I finally felt comfortable about halfway through the film that I knew I was doing it all right, uh -huh. you know. But it's frightening. Uh -huh. You know, it's really frightening. As a matter of fact, I don't sleep the night before I get a script so when I'm going on stage. In other words, I've read it. I'm, I know it all by heart, practically. But the, the night before I hit the stage, I can't sleep because I, I've got so many things going on in my head that I want to make sure I don't forget, <laughs> you know. And then once the, the take is in, when you, they say, cut, print, I'm okay. <laughs> 